here's me and Jack. This seems to be a uh, common occurrence, is late at night doing random things in my shed. But anyway, we are doing injectors in Jack's ute. So Jack's sort of, I don't know really, he's fondling an injector at the moment, I think. There we go. Taking the standard ones out and they're being replaced with ID 1000s. We didn't muck around, just went straight for the best. Well, I say we, he. It even comes in a little box and everything. You know, I don't think you get the keys with it though. No. Look at that, injector dynamics. That's what you pay for. Yeah. I'm missing a seal. I don't know where it's gone. I assume it's hanging up. You're, You're missing out. a seal. Right. So, can you get your injectors? First, have that. That's not there. The O-ring. Also not inside the uh, fuel rail. Ah. Okay. Features. Hold for us. Sorry, just filming Jack's ass crack. So we have the fan going because it's really hot. And the engine's hot because he only just got here. And it's nine o'clock already. And by the way, the plan is to put the injectors in put the car up on the hoist, change the dump pipe and put a high flow cat in, and then put it down onto the dyno and tune it, all before preferably the sun comes out tomorrow. Yeah, that's, so you, you like how I've gone from saying plan. things take an hour to saying, if it happens, if it happens in a day. Yeah. After our F250 experience. You guys don't know about the F250 experience. Maybe one day we'll explain it to you. Nah. No, no. It's, I've deleted it from my memory. No. Mind you, we actually have to finish that. No. Yeah, that's definitely a thing we need to do. So anyway, we're going to uh, pull these injectors out, put the new ones in, put it up on the hoist, and put this the dump pipe in. The seal. Ah, there it is. Normally that comes out with the... But, but it didn't. that other one. Oh well. There we go. Alrighty. So now what we're doing is, well, attempting to do is remove this thing, which is the dump pipe and catalytic converter, which goes up there, courtesy of the light. Let me show you. So it bolts on up there. There you go. That's what Jack's doing. And torch. Do you have power tools? Do you want the torch? I'll put the torch there. Okay. Yeah, I've got whatever you want. I said just get it. Digga, digga, digga. The bottom three drawers of my thing are full of power tools. Milwaukee power tools. I bought them when I put my shed together a few years ago, but now I have the big Milwaukee stuff. You probably don't need that. Is this for a Recipro? No, that's my brand new Recipro. That one, yes. Just take that useless one off. Do you have a step down? No. You need to use half inch. I don't want to use half inch. Well, you have to. Tough luck. <laughs> Tough luck. Anyway, so we're replacing that dump pipe with this dump pipe, which has actually been sitting at my house for ages. It came off an XR6 Turbo that I bought damaged from Queensland, pillaged some parts off it, including that dump pipe and these wheels, and then sold back to a guy in Queensland for the same money that I paid. That was quite a good venture. Um, it was. Oh, actually, yeah, it was, because that was an interesting road trip, too. It was fun. It was fun. I'm sure I'll put a video up of that at some point. We do have one. But yeah, so anyway, we're going to uh, attempt to get this back off, and then we'll get it on the dyno, which I have to wheel under the car. All right, so... The dump pipe being a cheap one doesn't quite line up, so we're just fiddling with positioning. But something really strange happened with one of the bolts we tried to use. You probably can't hear me with the fan on, hang on. There's a big fan, and it's very hot, but I'm going to turn it off for the purposes of this video. So, one of these bolts just randomly decided not to undo, even though there was... I literally could turn it by hand with a spanner, the whole bolt, quite easily, so there can't have been that much force on it. Where's the nut? Go on. <laughs> so, just to show you the level of awesomeness, you can see that, but that end of the bolt actually sheared off inside the nut. I mean, mind you, we were using my awesome Milwaukee rattle gun. To undo it, though. We to undo, undo it, it up. because... No, we didn't do it up with that. 
we just gradually got bigger tools because we couldn't get the stupid thing undone. Which is, and it was a brand new nut and bolt. Cold welded, done. So it just decided, yeah, anyway. So that was fun. So we're almost done here, in theory. Just gonna get this to line up and we'll see what happens. We're done, finally. Had a couple of problems along the way, just teething issues with a bit of the equipment, but, look at that. Perfect. Jack's down there somewhere. Hello. Kyle's enjoying his Maccas and his nice GDR out there. So time for the next one. That was quite a good result, 304 kilowatts out of what essentially is just a Boltons XR6 turbo, obviously that was good <laughs> <laughs>